Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are talking about price shopping. Should you be shopping for the best price? I want to give you everything you should consider, pros and cons, and where that might lead you. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wedding industry educator, and wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know if there's a particular video, topic, anything you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For daily content, be sure to follow on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. You can now subscribe to my Instagram, at Wedding Fashion Expert, to get exclusive content that is only unlocked for those who subscribe to it. So definitely go and subscribe after this video. Be sure to also follow us on TikTok, at Lavella Bridal, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. Last week, we spoke about what happens when things go wrong in bridal stores. So you order your wedding dress, it comes in the wrong size, wrong color, malfunctions happen, and alter. I wanted to expand on that this week. I want you to consider a prevention plan by picking a store so that you can avoid those things in Entirely. Oftentimes, I see this happen many times where a bride finds a dress that she absolutely loves at Lavella or a veil or a headpiece, and someone tells her or she gets the idea that she is going to price shop it. Ends up calling all these stores, ends up price shopping, and here's the deal. Stores should not be priced differently on anything. So even if you decide that this is something that you want to do, an ethical store has signed contracts with all of their designers and they are supposed to sell everything at the set MSRP by the manufacturer. This is not like a car dealership where each dealership can price anywhere they want and it's not about the manufacturer's MSRP. The MSRP in cars doesn't have the same weight as it does in bridal. It's kind of like going to Nordstrom. You see a product at Nordstrom, you're going to see the same product at Bloomingdale's. They should be priced the same. It's not going to reflect any different unless they're having some sort of a blowout sale. However, in bridal, sale items are sale Sample items. We don't offer sales for new orders. It is being specially made for you. It's a little bit of a different process. So if you decide that you are going to call stores and try to get a discount somewhere, keep in mind that if a store is discounting, they are going against the contracts that they have with the designers. And you might be thinking, what do I care what contracts they have with their designers? I want the best price possible totally respect where you're coming from. However, that shows that they are an unethical store and they are doing unethical practices. So all the things we spoke about last week of things going wrong, that all of a sudden heightens. So what are you willing to save on? Is saving the money and your experience worth it? By saving that money, it may bite you in the bum on the back end of things. Oftentimes, in my experience, through other aspects of purchasing items, it is in my best interest to spend the money that it is supposed to be spent, right? The right amount for that item versus cutting costs. In the end of the day, you're going to get what you pay for. If a store is discounting stuff, they're probably not gonna be the most ethical to handle a situation if an error occurs. You also want to be really mindful of the stylist that's helping you. When you are shopping for wedding dresses, your stylist is educated, knowledgeable, has expertise that you are getting at no additional cost. All you have to do is buy the goods. But when you hire an expert, whether it's your wedding planner, an interior decorator, a dentist, a therapist, whatever you are paying for, right? You're paying for their expertise. Lucky you, you get an expert stylist at no additional cost when you go to a store like Lavella. That's a huge savings in and of itself. Be mindful of that. If it wasn't for your stylist, it's oftentimes that the look that they put together for you wasn't going to happen. Maybe you came in with that dress in mind and you're thinking, well, she didn't really have to do much or he didn't really have to do much for me. 
but it's also the experience, the ambiance, the veil, the accessories, and everything that we do to put it all together for you. Keep that in mind. That person deserves to have your purchase and they deserve to have your business because they've worked hard for you. So to cut them out, to cut that store out, for you to save money on the front end could be very, 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 very costly on the back end. I have seen it happen over and over and over again. We have had so many brides that have wanted us to do a custom change on a dress and we have said no to it. Yes, we do say no to our brides if we think it is not a good idea. They have gone to another store that said yes to it and they have come back to us after the fact to say, I wish I trusted you. They have come back to us saying that they wish they listened to our expertise and our experience versus going with the store that said yes to something that Lavella found for them technically, but they decided they wanted to do a design change, which we don't recommend because you haven't seen it done before and you can't envision it. They went to the other store who took the order because they wanted the money and it was a disaster. Nothing turned out according to plan. Do you have any idea how many times I hear this? That's why this video is being created. This has become a chronic problem and unfortunately, brides don't realize it until they've been through the experience, until you've spent the money, supposedly saving money or going with what you think is best when you're not the expert in this field. It's like you trying to psychologize yourself through an experience when you need an expert psychologist to help you get through that. Or it's like you trying to do dental work on your own teeth. You're you're not a dentist. So be mindful of that. Oftentimes people are looking at us like all you're doing is selling wedding dresses. Our job is so much more than that. And it's up to you as the consumer to recognize that and be really, really mindful when you're making these decisions. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment below. I am here to support and guide you and prevent these types of errors from happening. We see it all day long. And even if I just change one person's experience out there, I know that I've made my difference. For more videos and tips like these, tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.